So how was, uh, how was your summer? What did you do? Uh, good, busy, real busy. Uh, working out four days a week. Okay. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, throwing seven on seven, three days a week. Yep. Um, and then every once in a while, if I can, I'm from Spokane. So, you know, I'm 80 miles away from home. If I can, getting out to the lake for uh, for a weekend. So I got to do that two or three times. So it's uh, been, been a good summer. No trips to Vegas. No trips to Vegas. No. Got to get on that. I went to Vegas last year. Okay. I went to Vegas last year for my buddy's 21st. So How was that? It was fun. Were you 21? I was. Uh, I was. kind of got to be. Anyway. Yeah, exactly. It was a good time. Good, it was a good man. time. Good. Um, you guys are in year three. Yeah. With Mike Leach now. Um, do you feel like his culture is is totally like all over the program? At yep, hundred percent, hundred percent. Really excited about what we got a chance to do this year. Um, got a chance to set some some records offensively, and uh, got a chance to surprise some people. You know, we got we got some talent coming back. So, like being a quarterback in that offense. Uh, it's a lot of fun and really hard. Um, yeah. You're uh, you call I call seventy percent of the plays. Um, he, Coach Leach will just give me a formation, then it's my job to call the right play. Um, you know, but it's fun to wing it around, you know, 89 times like we did against you guys. And, uh, um, you know, but at the same time, it's tough, you know. If you're throwing it 89 times, you know, the windows are going to be that big. And uh, so we're, we're trying to run the ball a little bit more this year, and, uh, and we'll be all right. Most passing attempts ever, is that right? Yeah, tied, tied it. Tied, tied the record, yeah. Not the record? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. That's not a... <laughs> That's not that great of a record. <laughs> right, right. Your arm sore at the end? Do you have to ice it down like a pitcher? At the end yeah, of the yeah, I was real sore. Shoulder was real sore. Uh, speaking of that game, there was a lot of, uh, I guess, controversy with Nick Alioto after right. the game. Right. Thought, gave his opinion on right. you guys throwing it. Right. Game. What did you think? What do you think? Um, I mean, I, I guess I understood where he came from a little bit, but I just. Um, you know, the game of football is trying to win, and we were down, you know, 25, 22 points, whatever it was. So I know if there's any time on the clock, I'm going to try to score. Um, the, you know, that's how I take it. Foot, like Coach Leach's quote was, football is the only sport where you're expected to, like, quit playing when you're winning by a lot or losing by a lot. And he doesn't go by that rule, and I'm a player for him, so I don't either. <laughs> right. So you're all right with that? You're all right with being, being part of that philosophy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I uh, love playing for Coach Leach. Love it. Um, he's a different guy. You're never, you're never not going to find another person like him in college football, but uh, he is the guy. I, I love playing for him. Him and I share a lot of the same you know, aspects, and it's great. Have you read his book about Geronimo? I haven't read the book about Geronimo. I, I've read Swing Your Sword, but I haven't, I haven't gotten to Geronimo yet, but I will. That's not required reading for the team? No, nah, it should be, but it's That's not. Right. <laughs> Is he, it, how many guys in the team do you think have read that book? Uh, not many. No. 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 Is it just not, not your cup of tea? Uh, I don't know. I just think our summers are so busy. Right. We're in summer school. I just don't think many guys are picking up a book in their free time. Seems pretty boring. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, he talks about, I talked to him a couple hours ago, and he talks about bringing Geronimo, like the lessons from Geronimo's life to the team. Does he right. talk about Geronimo to you guys? Um, I'll, I'll, he doesn't so much talk about Geronimo, but he talks about, you know, all the discipline, you know, all the, you know, doing things the same way, only focusing on one thing. So all those things that Geronimo, you know, was bringing into their life, you know, is what he's instilling in us. Yeah. Um, Coming into this season, what, what do you guys need to happen for to be successful? Um, we it's a cliche it's a cliche answer, but really we need to just worry about winning one game a week. We play so many young kids, 18, 19 year olds, that to have them focusing on only you know winning one game a week is just our biggest deal. You know, in teams past, we had really made a big deal about you know we want to be the first team to make it to a bowl game. We want to be the first team to win eight games. Da 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 da. And none of those things got accomplished. So we're we're just focusing on winning one game a week, and that's really all we can do. You guys have brand new building, right? Yeah. Brand new facilities. I I don't know if it was Bill Moose or Mike Leach that said it's the best facility in the country. In Eugene, they they've got a new building too that's pretty outrageous. Why is yours better than the one in Eugene? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen the one in Eugene, so I can't totally speak on that. But uh, ours is up to par with, you know, the Oklahoma States and the Tennessees and all those guys, and that's kind of the top-notch deal. So Bill Moose flew. He went to Oklahoma State, Tennessee, UT, 
Oregon, and I don't. I think the fifth school is Florida, and took looked at all their facilities and took all of theirs and kind of tried to make one, you know, super one. And you know, I haven't seen all those around the country, but ours is uh, tough to beat, and I'm happy with it. What's the best part about it? Probably the locker room. Probably the locker room. We, you know, we spend a lot of time in there, and it's huge, comfortable chairs, TVs. Land. I mean, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Is that? have an effect on the program? Something Definitely. Like it completely changes recruiting. Okay. I mean, 100% changes recruiting. We can compete, you know, with Oregon now in a recruit. You know, if they're thinking about, well, before, it was, well, if I go to Washington State, I'm not going to be treated like I'm treated at Oregon, or I'm, we're not going to have the chances we have at Oregon. I mean, that's not, that's not the argument anymore. We can compete with those guys, so it's huge. What about, how do you get kids to Pullman? Uh, you get kids to Pullman with the family atmosphere. I mean, it, you probably get tired hearing it if you didn't know it. My mom went to UW, so I grew up a Husky. Okay. And uh, so I remember being seventh, eighth grade, hearing all these little kids say, go Cougs. It, you know, their parents went to WSU. And frankly, it was annoying. And uh, I didn't understand it. And now going to the school, you really don't understand it unless you come. But it's like having a family of 31,000 people. Everybody's welcome wherever you go. Everybody's loved wherever you go. and. Um, it's unlike any other place in the world that I've been to. Is it hard to go to Washington State as a Husky? Uh, no, because I, I mean, I was just wanting to play wherever, you know, wherever it would take me. But, uh, and my mom, you know, isn't a huge sports fan. If it was my dad, like, it would have been hard. My dad played football at Boise State, so that, that wasn't bad. But if my, if my dad was the one at UW, I probably wouldn't have gone. Right. I grew up doing everything I wanted, I wanted to be my dad. It would have been not allowed. Yeah, it would have been not allowed. Completely, yeah, it wouldn't have been not allowed at all, yeah. You can't even look at this. Yeah. Uh, there's, uh, you know, as an outsider, there's a, a saying, a phrase that Duck fans and other fans like to use called Kuganin. Yeah. Uh, when you hear that, what, 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 do, you, what do you think? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we, you know, we've had some games, you know, that, you know, represent the saying Kuganit. So I think, uh, you know, we're just trying to be the team that surprises people and kind of makes you guys shut up. There you go. <laughs> there you go.